Hello Bobcats, Brad Treffler here, going to show you today how to get an attendance report for your students. Uh, earlier this week I had somebody ask how they can show all of the absences a student had, um, because if you go into the actual daily attendance list, you won't see it there. The most you can actually show is going to be the week, so in this case we can see like the last two weeks or so right here. If you don't see that, then you'll have a button here. So for example, if your screen looks like this, you can see by period. You'll click show previous week's attendance and then you'll be able to see the last two weeks or so of attendance that way but if you want to go back for the entire quarter it's actually nowhere near the attendance screen instead we're going to go into my gradebook which is right here on teacher access and we're going to do reports for all classes right here we only have to hover over that and we'll click summary report by class now, I've already generated the report de descriptions I need, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create it so that you get it. So you're going to hit Add a New Template right here, and you're going to give it a name. So in this case, I want to do Quarter Attendance, and then I'll hit Save. And then here, on the next screen once it loads, will be what we want to do. So in this case, we want to do Current Term, for example. Um, then we will have student ID we want to display. We can do only for scheduled days because we don't want to see if they weren't here on a Saturday or Sunday, obviously. If you want to ignore days you were absent or there was a sub, you could do show entered attendance only. Um, but really, these settings are pretty much what you want. Now, if you wanted a specific range, so a specific date period, you can do that by doing display attendance for a specific date range. You'll select that option instead, and you can change the date range. You can also eliminate certain attendance types if you want. So if you click that absence type, then we can remove which ones we want to see. So maybe I don't want to see if they're suspended. Maybe I don't want their unexcused early dismissal. I can remove any of those if I wanted and put those over there. Or I can have it back on the other side. So the ones on this side are the ones that are going to show up if they have a code. Uh, notice that present isn't really on there, right? We don't want to have those. Um, shown up because we're only going to show the times they were not actually in class. Once we have all our settings the way we want it, we go ahead and hit save. This is going to take us back here. So in this case, quarter attendance. And then if I want to create it, I'm just going to go ahead and hit print right here. And I'm going to let that load for a second. You'll notice it'll go to my print queue. It's now done. And I just hit display report. And that's when I will start to see all of the students with their absences. So I have my student names on this corner, and then I have their codes. And of course, the uh, description, the key is down here, um, and it'll tell us what each of those codes mean. And it shows their attendance for that period of time. And that is pretty much all there is to it. And you'll be able to see times if they were, for example, absent on excuse for a day. Um, but for the most part, my students were present and not having any issues, um, but you'll notice the times that they weren't, and I can actually see what's going on there. So that is how you display a report for attendance and everything that has been going on for the term. Until next time.